Well, I do hope you're happy with yourself, Thomas. I know, I know. Do you? Do you really? Look, I've already said it to everyone, all right? I'm sorry. <laughs> but you're not. I can see it. See what? Oh, your eyes. You keep rolling them round and round more times than your own wheels. I am not rolling my eyes. This is rolling my eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? Oh, that made me dizzy. Hmm. <laughs> Look, I don't expect you to understand. I was getting back at Harry and Bert for messing with me and James. They just never get caught when they do it, those stupid diesels. If anything, we're the victims. Especially with diesel wrecking our sheds. What? That's why you did it? You went out of your way to sabotage their work, which was helping to build the airport, by the way, all out of spite? For payback? It's bad enough you proving that you're no better than them, but you've ruined an ambitious project that could have been a huge help to this whole island. Setting us back more than we already are this summer. All those passengers across the globe, they may never get to come to Sodor at all now. All because you've been a petty, ignorant child. Whew. Wow. I haven't even used my voice like that since before I came here. Thomas, I... I didn't mean to shout. No, no. It's okay. I deserve that. Cinders and ashes. What have I done? I'm... I'm sorry. I mean it this time. I, I really do. All week I've just been so... so stupid. And I've messed it all up for everyone. Hey, 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 hey. It's alright. Uh, it isn't though, is it? Even if we could finish the airport in that time, there's no way those dies... Um, Harry Burton Diesel would work with me now. Well, do you know anyone that could talk to them? Uh, Mavis springs to mind. Okay, that's good. One thing at a time. Go and find her tomorrow and see if she can call Diesel, Harry and Bert for a meeting. You apologise for your bad behaviour and maybe figure out a compromise. What's copper mice? <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> you basically address your cross feelings towards each other and put them to one side as you work on something more important. In this case, it's the airport. You're right. That can work. I can fix this. I will fix this. I'm certain you will. For now though, best to get some sleep, I think. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Sleep well. Oh, uh, wait. Before we do, I have to ask. And I know it's very out of the blue, but... If we don't have enough work to do... You don't think the Fat Controller would scrap us, do you? Oh no, of course not. We'd still have work to do this summer and beyond, just not as much without the airport. But that's what you're going to fix tomorrow, so no need to worry. Right, yeah, just needed to know that. Good night, Thomas. Night, Emily. The Fat Controller wouldn't scrap us, right? He might.